DICE was very very unoriginal with these three heroes. Now they may have been original, unoriginal with other heroes, but these specific three heroes, Luke, Rey, and Obi-Wan, sort of all the same. They still are different, let's be honest. Obviously they're different, but they're also the same. Luke has a dash, Obi-Wan has a dash, and guess who else has a dash? <gasps> Ray has a dash. Now it's all a little bit different. All their dashes work slightly different. Ray's leaves you open, like Luke's, but deals a decent amount of damage, while Obi-Wan's leaves you not open in the sense that you can basically go through everyone, they can't hit you, and you can block from the front, but it doesn't do as much damage. So yes, they are still different, but it's just the same thing. They just decided, hey, you know what, we're gonna make Obi-Wan. Let's work on the aesthetic. So he looks good, he has great emotes. But for his abilities, you know what, just throw rays in there and just makes it, make it a little bit better and they won't know. That's basically what I feel like they did, and it's just super annoying. Because they could have just done each of these heroes way cooler, especially Obi-Wan, man. Ray, I don't care, because it's Ray. No, nobody even cares. Luke, they could leave Luke like that, leave his saber rush, leave his force push. Fits Luke perfectly, but for Obi-Wan, make him different. And also, one thing I wish they would have done <coughs> and this doesn't uh, this isn't a part of the video where they're all similar I thought when Battlefront 2 first came out when they were talking about different different playstyles because you can get different star cards when they first brought that up when I was still playing Battlefront 1 and they talked about Battlefront 2 when I heard that I thought you could switch the abilities themselves and that would have been sick and I wish they could they could have done that honestly imagine if you're playing Obi-Wan right you're not a fan of the force push and saber dash, right? Imagine if you have three other options, so you can have a force push, a second ability, and then a third ability. You have to choose from one of them, and then you can put it there. So imagine if you had one like, I don't know, like Luke's, for example. I'm being unoriginal right now, but it's just to give you an example. Let's say it's a knockoff repulse, right? I guess it's basically Anakin's a knockoff repulse. But let's say it's a knockoff repulse, because you don't like the force push, you put it there instead. So you're Obi-Wan has dif a different ability than the other guys across the game. So that's what I thought would have actually happened when the game first came out. You could actually switch the abilities themselves. But anyways, I got I went way off track and for good because I actually wanted to get you guys this information. I didn't want to make a whole video about it because it's very short. But yeah, these three heroes are all the same. Luke, Rey, and Obi-Wan. If you master two of them, You've basically mastered the third one. If you master Obi-Wan and Rey, you've got Luke. If you master Luke and Rey, you've got Obi-Wan. You know what I mean? And it just sucks because they're all the same, man. They all have a dash. Rey doesn't have a push, but Luke and Obi-Wan have a push. And guess what? Obi-Wan and Rey have both mind tricks. And what's worst is that the mind trick that Obi-Wan has, Rey used to have it. Rey is a uh, mind trick. You used to make them not use their abilities. And it actually made it so you couldn't even dodge. So it was sort of better than Obi-Wan's actually. So they cut Rays in half and they were like, you know what? We're going to give it to Obi-Wan. Because why not? We're bored. That's just dumb. <laughs>